Recipes for technical trading success in Cook's Kitchen. Hey everybody, Cooker here. I want to talk about the CRISPR stocks. Uh, and my theme is, do you buy and hold them and own them for a long time for the big payoff in gene editing technology? Or do you trade them as well? And I have a mixed answer because I've owned and traded the three primary CRISPR stocks. Uh, but I, I should say primarily I have traded one of them and just held on to the other two and, and missed trading gains. But I'm looking for that big payoff in case somebody buys them. So we're gonna, I'm going to go over the three big ones with you. Um, this was a report we gave Zach's ultimate subscribers in January of this year seven biotech stocks to buy now. And you will not be surprised to learn that among my seven recommendations were two CRISPR stocks, uh, the two smaller ones. So let's see here, Intellia Therapeutics, NTLA, uh, which is on the move today, up over 7%. And there's Invite. we took a 100% gain on that this year. Very nice. Uh, Sangamo, the, other, the zinc finger gene editing technology that we own at a decent level and and hope it'll double again for us. Illumina, we've got that in the portfolio. Bluebird, we own that. Bluebird's been kind of a dog, but I'm hoping for the long-term payoff. And then Editas would be the other uh, smaller, um, you know, small small to mid-cap gene editing technology, uh, EDIT. And in this report, I go over a lot of the important things you need to know about gene editing and why this is the century of biology. If you want access to this report, just email ultimate at zax.com and tell them Cooker sent you for the um, seven biotech stocks to buy now report. Uh, I give a pretty good overview of CRISPR technology uh, and why it is a worthy gamble on the future. Uh, despite the, the risks of the technology, uh, it is, it is a powerful world changing technology and, and we should all learn more about it, even if we're not direct investors in the companies, uh, because it will impact so many areas of biotech and of life in general. All right, so that's my seven biotech stocks to buy now report in the century of biology. Just email ultimate at zax.com if you wanna get a copy of that. All right, so let's take a look at the healthcare innovators portfolio where I buy these stocks. You can see that currently uh, Editas and Intellia are my two top gainers. Um, and the gains were much bigger recently. Uh, and uh, I didn't I did not trade them. You can see I own I've owned Editas since September of 2017. So three years there. Um, I've watched this thing go from twenty dollars to thirty five dollars about three times and never took the gain. Although some of my uh, some of our portfolio members did. Uh, and Telia, we're kind of seeing the same thing. I, I got knocked out of it once, got back in at 13, um, went up to almost 26. We almost had a double in this thing just this year. I can show you the chart right now. Here, uh, here's NTLA. You know, early in the year, you could have bought it, you know, anywhere between 11 and 13. And it shoots up, uh, up here to above 25. Uh, and then heartbreak back down. We didn't take the trading gain, but we're holding it long term, having a nice move today, which is nice to see. Um, now let's talk about the, the big winner that I have traded, and that would be one Mr. CRISPR Therapeutics, um, which is not here because I just sold it. Uh, we sold it for a 70% gain. So let's look at uh, healthcare innovators' performance, and and there's uh, there's CRISPR right there. We just took the gain. Um, bought it early January, um, and just cashed it out. We bought it 60 bucks, sold it over a hundred for a 71% gain. Now I want to show you what else I've done with CRISPR. And this, so this is really the one that I've traded. So this is a snapshot of 2019 closed trades alphabetically. And just, I'm just taking out, I, I took, uh, before CRISPR alphabetically and after CRISPR alphabetically. So you could see that these were the three closed trades I, we took in 2019 in CRISPR therapeutics, CRSP, 83% um, gain, 32% gain, 30% gain. 
So this is ideally what you'd love to do. A stock you want to, uh, you're crazy about, so you buy the dips on it, you buy it when it goes into the 30s, um, and you, 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 know, you take decent gains when you can, and then you hope you can jump back in before somebody buys them. Uh, let me tell you the thing about CRISPR. The reason I don't think that they're a takeover candidate is because their big brother is Vertex, uh, VRTX, the cystic fibrosis uh, juggernaut. And Vertex is fully invested in the CRISPR technology, and they have several programs in clinical trials. So no one else is going to buy CRISPR, and Vertex may not even buy CRISPR. So that's not why I'm not worried about a sudden takeover where I wake up one morning and you know the stock's 100% higher because somebody bought them. Uh, and that's why I'm willing to trade it. So we just sold it over 100 and for this year, and it's it back down to 80 this week. Um, I'll show you uh, what, what Citigroup had to say. Citigroup has a $31 price target on CRISPR. So they're very negative on the technology. Um, CRISPR and Vertex are focusing on hemoglobinopathies, uh, things like uh, sickle cell disease, uh, 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 beta thalassemia, so the diseases of the blood. And uh, the, Chris, the city analyst is very bearish, doesn't think it'll work out. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm showing you since, so you see this is real, this, this trade log for 2019. Yeah, you see my big loser in Dermira. Uh, DERM took a 43% hit there. That's that's what we do in healthcare innovators. We take some shots and sometimes they don't work out. Um, and th this was this was my little, this is gonna be my small cap to take on the Goliath Regeneron in atopic dermatitis. And somebody finally recognized that Lilly just bought them this year for 1.1 billion, about 19 bucks a share. So it was a it was a good idea, uh, but you know in the short term there can be a lot of volatility and they can wreck these stocks. Um, and and Lily has to end up Lily doesn't get to buy it for seven bucks a share. They had to pay uh, <clears throat> they had to pay uh, nineteen bucks a share. All right, so let's see back to uh, the portfolio. What else did I want to show you here? Uh, well, let's just look at some of the charts. Um, let's take a look at CRISPR here. So here was CRISPR, uh, you know, we got in a good level, had some, you know, we, we wrote out the volatility down into the 40s during the corona crash. Um, and then this spike looks like a technical breakout. And that's what I told my people, hey, we got a technical breakout here above, uh, you know, 98 bucks. Um, I said, I don't think so. Um, I think there is, the, because the clinical data is too far away. We won't even get any data from, from CRISPR until maybe December. And then it'll still be, um, you know, a 50-50 bet at best. So I said, let's let's take the 70% gain. Uh, that was a good idea short term. I'm looking for a spot to get back in. And we, we may do that in the low 80s. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. Uh, looking at, I wanted to see when, uh, when we last traded CRISPR. Well, I, I already told you about the city analyst. Um, $31 price target, doesn't believe any, any of the clinical programs make it worth, you know, more than a, you know, more than $2 billion or even more than a billion dollars. But so to answer the question, do you, you know, do you buy and hold and own these CRISPR stocks making, making the big bet on the future? Here's Editas. So many times we, you know, we could have sold it for, um, you know, 50 to 75% gains and we didn't. Um, and my feeling is trade them if you can, but at least, but always own one or two. So that's why I, many times, I've owned all three, both you know, CRISPR, Editas, and Intellia. I'll own all three at once and then take a big gain in one if I can, hanging on to the other two. Because if one of them gets bought, say, Editas or in Intellia, which I just hold anyway, <laughs> uh, the others will do well. And I already explained to you why I don't think CRISPR is a takeover target. So uh, that's my, my rough overview of, you know, do you, do you buy or trade the CRISPR stocks? And the answer is yes and yes. All right, talk to you soon.